Hey guys, my name is Catherine and today I'm going to show you how to get started with GitHub. GitHub is a type of version control where you can track your changes as well as revert back to older versions of your code in case you want to. It's also a type of social media where programmers can follow each other's feeds, collaborate on different ideas, and it's just a really easy way to share code. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is open your browser and go to github.com. Now we pick our username. I love penguins, and so I'm going to choose penguins10101. And now you input your email and then a password. And now you're here. Basically, the way you organize your code in GitHub is through repositories, and those repositories can be private and only you can see them and those who you choose to share them with or you can make a public repository and so everyone can see it and you can share it with the world. So we have nothing to hide and so we aren't gonna pay and so we're just gonna finish the sign up. And we'll click on the cat in the corner and now we're here. So you might have something different at the top but basically it's, it's like an in-depth guide on how GitHub works and how Git works but I'm just gonna show you how you can use it to save your code and stuff like that. And so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new repository. And we're gonna call it penguins galore. We'll call it penguins galore. Description, we're just gonna leave blank for now. And again, you can make it private here, but you have to pay, and so we're not doing that. And we'll initialize a readme, which is basically a description of your code, kind of like this, but it's a little bit more formal because it's an actual file in your code. And it might be a little bit more specific than your description. And a git ignore file is something that will ignore the temporary files of your project. So say you're working with something like Unity or Xcode, there are a lot of temporary files that are saved and resaved and constantly like being saved, but you don't really use them. I mean, you do use them, but you, it's not the core of your project. And so you can use this so that GitHub will ignore it and you don't have all these temporary files in your repository. A license is for cool people, and yeah, we're not doing that. And so we'll create it. <laughs> and now we're here. This is our first repository and our first commit because we initialized our readme, initialized the repository. We're here. And so we're going to add some stuff to this repository, this new project that we're working on. We're going to make a web page of penguins. And so to start off, to make our web page, we are going to say this is an HTML document by doing open tag doc type and then open tag HTML and then open tag head, close the head tag, open tag body, close the tag body, and close the HTML tag. And for those who haven't seen HTML before, don't worry, this is just setting up the page that we're gonna make. And so you don't really need to know HTML for this, it's just kind of boilerplate. And so we're creating it and commit, and now we have two commits. And this is kind of yucky to, I don't know, program in, like if you're working with say Maya or Unity or I don't know, some big thing, you're not gonna wanna edit it in this. And so we can do something called clone in desktop. And right now you'll get this thing because you have to install GitHub. But basically, you can clone it and you can work on it in your desktop and sync the changes and it will show up on the internet. But if I didn't really want a connection with the internet, if I just wanted to download the zip file to have on hand but not make changes to the repository, I would download the zip file. But we're going to clone it and we're going to install this and here we are. Now that we have it downloaded, we can clone it into our desktop. To do that, we will go to our plus sign in the GitHub and clone it. And there's our username and we'll click it and clone. And we can put it anywhere and we'll just put it in our desktop. Notice when I created it, it showed up here in its own little folder, so it's really nice. And now it has all the stuff from our repository. And so now we wanna edit these things. One thing I did forget to do was call this a.html so we know that it's an HTML file. So if we open it now, there's nothing on it, it's blank. And so we want to edit it in my favorite text editor, Sublime. I'll put a link down below. But you can edit in any text editor. So here we're gonna do open tag, 
header one, I love dot, 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 penguins, and close the tag. And we're also gonna add an image. So IMG, open tag image, source equals, I pulled this off the internet, and we will close the tag. We'll save it, maybe add one little white space there. And then we can open it here, and we have this big picture of a penguin, and I love penguins. And now, since we made a change, we can see what we've done, and we can commit it. So we'll say added, I don't know, header and image. And now it's there. And so if we go on GitHub, we will see that our repository has changed because we made a commit. And so if we go to web page, here it is. And there's the link, and there's our stuff. Some other things you can do in this interface are if you click this little plus button, you can add, create, and clone. So we just cloned our only repository, so we can't clone any others. We can create a new repository and store it somewhere within here, and it will create a new folder, kind of like it did this, like for our penguins galore. It will create a new folder for it, and it'll be on GitHub. Add, you would use if you have been working on a project for a while, but you didn't get GitHub until just now, and you wanna put it on GitHub, you can choose wherever it is, wherever you like saved it, and it will create a new repository, you'll name it, stuff like that. So just one more thing about committing, your commit should tell a story. It should be about one specific thing or a group of changes that kind of go together. It shouldn't just be random changes that you make because it's really hard for someone that's looking over your code to understand what's going on. And it's easier to look up later as well. So we focused on the web page design and in another commit you might do the readme and make a detailed description of what you're making. But here we were just making penguins, so it doesn't really matter. But in future projects it will, because if you change a bunch of different files and you want to revert back to an older version, it can sometimes be harder and more annoying because your changes are spread out and you can't, I don't know, grasp it on your head. In the next video, I'll show you how you can use terminal commands to do everything we just did, sync, commit, clone, init, all of that. And so I'll see you there.